New here at 6, we are taking a deep dive, you could say literally, into a unique program for veterans seeking a career once they leave the military. Our Stacey Baca taking us to Orland Park tonight to show us how scuba diving is helping veterans heal, find a way forward, and enjoy the water at the same time. There's just something about the water. It's just peaceful. It's quiet. Um, gives you a chance to get away from all the, the noise in life. Joshua Margowicz is a Marine veteran fresh out of the military. I just got out two months ago, so for me this is a good community for me to connect with where I don't feel so, I don't want to call it alone, but it is an adjustment period going from military to civilian life again. Everyone here has served and now they're taking advantage of their GI Bill benefits, becoming scuba instructors. I'm trying to turn it into a full-on job and that's my dream. Devin Sullivan and the rest of these vets are part of the Veteran Vocational Program at Dive Right In Scuba in Orland Park. The 17 and a half week course trains vets to become scuba instructors. The GI Bill covers the cost, $12,500 each. We're looking to give people opportunity, you know, to make a different choice, to not, you know, sit in a building or in a classroom. Chris Lowe, an Army veteran who served in Iraq and Afghanistan, is now a master instructor teaching other veterans. Diving has helped them with PTSD. Scuba diving has been a healing experience. These veterans have different military experiences, and they're doing this, learning how to scuba and be instructors for different reasons. The aquatic life, honestly, uh, being able to dive in the water, <laughs> it's a lot of fun. It's a great way to unwind and you know, you fall in love with it. And since the end goal is to have veterans work or run a dive center, the vocational school includes classroom training, lessons about running a business and maintaining equipment and pools. I never thought I'd be able to get a job in the scuba industry, but now here I am in the Midwest in Illinois working in the career I've always wanted to. Veterans changing careers. You don't have to go far to do what you want to do to follow your dreams. You just have to look. Looking and finding new opportunities after serving our country. In Orland Park, Stacey Baca, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Well, that is wonderful. Stacey, thanks so much for sharing that with us. What a great program. What a great story to be sharing on Veterans Day. And I bet they're pretty fantastic instructors. I bet they are. <laughs> yeah. I learned how to operate the business at the same time. It's yeah. a, it's a, what a great idea. Awesome. And we see thank you vets, of course, this evening on the Blue Cross Blue Shield building.